Welcome to the Things Fundamentals in 5 Minutes. 5 Minutes is just enough to cover the basics of LoRaWAN, but at the end I'll also leave you with some resources so you can learn more and get started. I'm Ben, I'm the technical writer at the Things Industries. Let's go. Today, we're going to cover what LoRaWAN is, why it's so great, I'll talk about the physical protocol LoRa, and then LoRaWAN, which is the software layer built on top. LoRa is short for long range, and LoRaWAN is a low power wide area network. It's an IoT wireless communication protocol. LoRaWAN is used in disaster prevention, smart agriculture, smart cities, logistics, and lots more. Anywhere there's IoT, there's LoRaWAN. So why is LoRaWAN so great? LoRaWAN has incredibly low power requirements with devices that last 10 years on a single battery. It's long range, covering tens of kilometers with really basic affordable hardware. It has good indoor penetration. It can be used all over the world without any licensing fees. As part of the protocol, you get geolocation for free. It has a great certification program from the LoRa Alliance and a great ecosystem of hardware and software. This is what a LoRaWAN network looks like. You have end devices, say a dog collar, smoke alarm, water meter, that communicate via the LoRa wireless modulation technique with gateways. Gateways convert LoRa messages to IP traffic and send it to a network server like the ThingStack, which is what we make. We allow you to see data in the ThingStack and then forward it to your end application. Here's a LoRa water meter, which communicates with a gateway, which sends traffic to the ThingStack, and then we can forward that to any end application. So let's talk about LoRa. LoRa is the physical wireless transmission technique comparable to other IoT communication technologies like Sigvox. LoRa has greater range than cell technologies like LTE and uses much, much less power, but it also supports much lower data rates. For IoT though, this is perfect. The theoretical maximum range of a LoRa transmission is 850 kilometers. Every year at the Things Conference, we test this by flying balloons with LoRa devices and seeing across how many countries they can communicate. The record from 2020 is 832 kilometers from a device to a gateway, so the physical record is quite close to the theoretical maximum. But of course, that only works up in space. On the ground, you've got interference. So on land, you can expect about 500 meter range indoors, 2 kilometers if you mount a gateway on the top of a house, and say 10 kilometers on top of a skyscraper. LoRaWAN is the MAC layer, which is built on top of LoRa. LoRaWAN specifies three types of devices. Class A devices consume the least power, because they spend most of their time sleeping. They wake up, communicate, and then listen for a fixed period of time for a message from the network. Class B devices do the same, but also wake up on a regular interval to listen for messages, say once a day. Class C devices consume the most power because they listen continuously. Here's a diagram of how each device class communicates. There are two ways to add LoRaWAN devices to a network. Over-the-air activation is the more secure and flexible way in which a device and the network communicate via join procedure to exchange keys. In some cases, it can be necessary to use the other activation method, activation by personalization, in which those keys are programmed by hand in the device and the network. This has the downfall that the device cannot change networks without being reprogrammed. As I said before, over-the-air activation is preferred because it is more secure and allows changing networks without physical access to the device, but it does use more resources. LoRaWAN implements two-layer security, where the network and application use separate keys. This means that the network server can't necessarily read application data, and it can just forward encrypted payloads to the end application. LoRaWAN devices are great for IoT because there's a range of device classes to suit every use case. LoRaWAN devices communicate infrequently and with small amounts of data, and in exchange consume very, very little power and have several year battery life. This is ideal for IoT. There are LoRaWAN devices for everything. There are water meters, smart plugs, parking sensors, whatever you can think of, somebody makes it. Gateways are affordable hardware you use to build and expand your own network, and they are manufactured for all the different regions of the world. To learn more about LoRaWAN, head over to thethingsnetwork.org slash learn, where we have lots of in-depth information about all the technical stuff. If you want to get started with LoRaWAN, we recommend using the ThingStack Community Edition from the Things Network which is our free-to-use community-based network server that has tens of thousands of gateways already connected all over the world. Once you have a commercial use case, the Things Industries is ready to scale with you. We offer private, SLA-backed LoRaWAN networks for up to millions of devices. Thanks for watching.